yummy dot doctor is definitely my brainchild and I'm, I'm glad you join and you know it's growing every day and i like the pace that it's growing i every really tend what i see anyway is that a lot of people in with the social media they're, they're really vying for attention or they're they think the numbers have to be hot, really high to help people or to do what they're doing and i don't agree because I, i'm seeing now more niches forming that are very family-based and community-based. And you can only know so many people. You can only carry so much. You know, you can, we don't, I don't need to have like 2 million, <laughs> 3 million. That's not reasonable or rational or even manageable. I think what is happening is we're finding each other and we're finding our tribe and we're finding the ways in which we live that work because everybody has a different culture and a different way of living. And we're aligning those values and goals. And I really like seeing that because you know, I had the experience of going viral and then being blacklisted. And ah. there's no, there's really nothing, no social media that runs away from me anymore, ever. I mean, I'll never hit off a viral video. It just, so it used to upset me how unfair that was. And, and to be targeted was really upsetting to me. For a long time, I felt quite bitter. And I had to really work through all the emotions of being treated like that from an unseen force, you know, where I, I can't really, I can't really face to face that person. I, it's not like I can rectify the situation. I'm, it's, it's a faceless entity. So I had to come to terms with all that. And then it's same idea with when I was trying to figure out my vocation, things go the way they're meant to go. And if you look for the gifts in what you think is an error or a mistake or shouldn't happen, that whatever it is, if you sit with that, you see there was another story behind that story that had to unfold. And you are a character in that story and, you know, you're playing that role and you're learning your lessons and that this linear goal of, I don't know what, I don't know what has been driven into people to become famous. Is that it? Or to just get enough fanfare that they feel worth, like it's a worth, I'm uh, not worthy, or it's just entrainment to be noticed, entrainment, or it's money driven, whatever. But if you really want to have true wealth and well being, that linear straight path is not, it's not the goal. The goal is to nourish yourself and your knowledge and then to find that gift and then offer that gift. And, and when you're living like that, it all starts to come the way it's supposed to. And you don't have to push, you know, you don't have to force anybody, you know, and the people will find you and, and no matter what, it, it will happen like that. Ooh.